Okay, his money picks Night Train Lane and Dion on the back end. And that tip drill ability is active for Night Train Lane. That's going to help him when defending that swerve exploit. You got Dion Sanders who blitzes and plays coverage. You have to key on him on every play. Both Randy Moss and Chad Johnson will have that playmaker ability active that lets him adjust their route. And conductor Aaron Rodgers who can make multiple hot routes at the line of scrimmage he had, at a quick pace. Yeah, he had eight touchdowns and only one interception in the group stage. Playing really well. On the other side Side. The guy that has one of the most explosive offenses, it doesn't matter if it's rushing or passing, the main man, the swerve bot, Volterax. Yeah, the 19-year-old Michael Bryan from Williamstown, Massachusetts, is a phenom. He has his gr grandpa here voting him, rooting him on, Grandpa Volt, and we are all excited to watch him play. And it's been great to see Volt as he was considered somewhat of a villain at the start of the year because of his style of play. But as this tournament's progressed, he has got a ton of support on social media and in our Twitch chats. They're calling themselves the Volt Army. It's funny. When a player goes from just a gamer tag to a real person, how everyone can latch on to this young man's story here. Let's take a look at his money picks and surprise, surprise, Night Train Lane and Deion Sanders. And like Beast Mode Mac, he also has the tip drill ability active. So that's going to come into play. Beast Mode also likes to air the ball out. That Chris Johnson has been an X factor for Volterex because it's allowing him big plays on the ground to complement that swerve big play. Randy Moss does not have that playmaker active. And McNabb, the mobile gunslinger. Yeah, he loves the throw. Throw it up with that 99 McNabb. Let's take a look at our scattering report brought to you by Xbox. So for Beast Mode Matt Coltrane, he needs to contain the big play. We all know Volterex likes to get yards in big chunks, whether it's on the ground or through the air with that swerve. You're going to have to force him to put long, methodical drives together and not let him constantly get those home run plays. And what does Volterax got to do to have a chance in this one? And for Volt, it's got to take what Beast Mode Mac gives you. If he runs down with the receiver to guard that swerve like Boogs did, don't be scared to throw it underneath. Don't force it. If he's giving you the run, continue to run the ball. If you're killing him with the swerve and they stack the ball, hit him with it again. Take what he gives you. He's been known not to do that, and that's when he looks most vulnerable. Now, we know about the swerve for Volt. What you don't know about Beast Mode Mac, a lot of guys listen to music. Some guys listen to the game sounds. He only listens to white noise, RG. Take a listen. That's not the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, when I heard that this is what white noise sounded like, he doesn't use game sound. This is what he hears the whole time he's playing, and he's been on an insane run as well. And there's something else he does with his pregame rituals, as he listens to white noise, and he always eats bananas all tournament long. He's been on a run ever since he did it, so. Uh, I'm not okay with the white noise. I am okay with the bananas, though. It's fantastic. Good, good. It's, but, but it's somewhat diabolical, right? I mean, you just... So focused in, all you do is listen to white noise. He, it's really weird. He said he doesn't like to listen to music, and he likes to play in quiets. But he said once he heard the white noise, it really relaxed him. And it, it was interesting. I thought white noise was going to sound like, you know, waterfall, and it was going to be real nice. That sounds like static when the TV goes out. It's a little creepy. It's worked for him. Uh, He's works. played so well, winning 80% of the time. And like you mentioned, he is the reigning Madden challenge champion and trying to go back to back. He's got to get through Volterax first, who has an incredible offense, but his defense has been a little suspect, but he, this is a guy that looks to get in a shootout with you and just outscore you. Yeah, that's absolutely what he's doing every time he touches the field because he knows that he has that one play touchdown with the swerve exploit. And it's something that a lot of competitors feel that they can stop. They're, they want their opponents to swerve on them because they feel they can counter it even though it's an exploit. The problem with Volterex is he's completed, com made a skill gap yeah. with that exploit where his swerve is not like anyone else's and competitors where they f normally feel comfortable stopping it most of them do not feel comfortable going up against Volt Swerve. Yeah, and you can lab against it, but like you mentioned, whoever you're labbing against cannot run the Swerve as good as this guy. Exactly. And here we go. The kickoff to the final 16 here in the Madden 17 championship. Eight games in total today, and Dion will go down at the 16-yard line, and that's where Beast Mode Mac will start. So not great field position to start this one for Beast Mode. Yeah, 
We got history in the making right here. And Beast Mode did tell me, Scott, that he is willing to go pound for pound with both directs. And he thinks he can turn this into a shootout and keep up with him. Quick throw to Leonard. That'll pick up three. They're going to mark it four, so they'll make it second and six. He's got Moss, Chad Johnson. And he makes in a little Jordy Nelson out there. Rodgers has time. Over the middle, wide open Chad Johnson. Playmakers him out to the 48-yard line. That's a good maneuver right there by Beast Mode. He's using that playmaker ability. You see him send Chad Johnson up into the middle of the field in that tender area. Gets a big play off of it, Coltrane. Yeah, Volterax was usering with Travis Feeney. Can't really hang with Ocho Cinco. First and ten, and there's Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll carve his way to the 42. First down. And Volterex, well building his lineup for this, was really trying to decide who he wanted to use or control. And he ended up going with that tanked Feeney because he felt comfortable with his stats and the low cap that helped him get some pieces in the secondary and in the receiving core. Volterax was ranked 24th in the group stages against the pass. But he did pick off five, five interceptions. So a little bit of bend, don't break. He's looking for that turnover in the red zone, RG. Yeah, when it comes to our ladder stats, let's remember that Volterex was ranked number one in takeaways. So this yeah. is no stranger. He's no stranger to force and turnovers. Excellent point. Second and four. The problem is Beast Mode Mac has been so methodical throughout this entire tournament, and he's made fantastic reads every game we see him, as you saw on this drive. Hasn't thrown in the coverage yet. Another quick throw, Leonard. A little stiff arm. Tight ropes his way down to the 16-yard line. Mac just making it look easy. Look at him locked in. Has that white noise blaring in his headphones. Bananas in the belly. Bananas. In, he was already four bananas deep <laughs> before this game started. That's a fact, Scott. That's A.C. Leonard. He's a 66 silver base tight end. Ari had two big catches. Beast Mode said this Jordy Nelson is going to do some work for him, too. That's a new addition to the team that he made just for this final 16. He said, watch out for him. I got, I got some special routes. So let's see if Jordy Nelson ends up getting one in for six at some point in this game. Well, he's got Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback, so Jordy Nelson's not a bad pick for the duel. 16 nice. players remaining. This is single elimination, RG. Win in advance. Ezekiel Elliott reaching for that first down. Going to be just shy. Going to be third and two, but Rodgers already five of five. Yeah, great reads by Mac. Just constantly taking the flats if that's what you give him, and then able to get rack, catch, rack after the catch, which, you know, if you can make your living like that, it's low risk. You just got to avoid those big hits. Had the number 10 passing offense coming into this one. Mentioned off the top, eight touchdowns, only one interception throw. Oh, oh, threw one there. That was the first bad read we saw from Mack. I'm paying him homage for throwing into the flats, but then he throws out a hard flat, Volt almost forcing the turnover. And that's the thing with Madden football. When he played bend, don't break, you can have 10 good plays. All it takes is one bad one, and he has to settle for a field goal. And he said he wants to go into a shootout with Volt. Settling for three is not a good way to start, start that shootout, Coltrane. This is going to be interesting to see how Volt responds on this drive, and this could dictate the pace of the game. Does Mack have defense for the swerve and Chris Johnson on the ground? So 2-0-2 remaining here in the first quarter of game number one of our final 16. Eight game total today. This is game number one in the afternoon session, and there is... CJ2K. And this CJ has been putting in work. He has 96 sp speed, Scott, and what makes that scary is unlike the Marcus Allen, if he gets in the open field, more often than not, he's getting caught and he's to the he's not getting caught and he's out to the crib. And that's why he has Darius Hayward Bay out there on the outside. You saw him lined up solo to the right, because that way he gets a little uh, combine boost. 
Yes, absolutely. That's a good point. He activates the combine boost with Bay and Chris Johnson, what gives each of those players plus two speed, which is why Chris Johnson's 96 speed. He's usually a 94 speed, but that chemistry that costs some cap boosts them up to make them the geeked up 96 speed that could take it for a home run. And we saw Darius Hayward Bay have some big plays in the group stage, so can't sleep on him either. Play action on second and ten. That's a big time overthrow. That's going to bring up a third down. Beast mode's getting amped. Yeah, that was an interesting play right there. I th think Volt just throwing the ball away. Didn't like what he saw. Got ourselves a big third and ten early on, Coltrane. Look at the adjustments. 108 here left in the first. Little motion. Watch out because it's number 81. McNabb. Lucky that didn't get picked off, and now it's forked down. And if let's you, be honest, I've never seen a punt. And that was great homework by Beast Mode Mac. If you saw that play, he ran complete with completely with Randy Moss, like Boogs did to neutralize that swerve, and it completely took Volt the Rex out of his game right there. Volt's going to need to have an underneath route when he runs that swerve, um, because it looks like Beast Mode Mac is ready to guard it himself. Beast Mode rocking Kansas City Patriots here. For Volt on fourth down, throws it off to Randy Moss. And that'll be a turnover on downs. 0 for 3. You can hear the crowd getting into it. And watch this. You see Beast Mode click on to Harrison Smith and fight that swerve to get him back to the ball landing spot. And that's one of the risks with that tactic. Swings it out. There's that AC Leonard. And he'll pick up three. He actually got little man and joke on the front row over there. Rooting on their boy, Beast Mode Mac. Yeah, that's what, and that's one of the advantages of having you being in a crew. They're all in that EMB crew. So, you know, Beast Mode has this guy's rooting them on, constantly preparing them for this matchup, getting well prepared. But you don't underestimate Volt when he's got Grandpa Volt in his corner. Trying to test Champ Bailey there on a drag. Take a look at his crew there in the front row. Joke, little man. Gibbs and Lowe's don't want to have anything to do with it. Look at the Gibbs stuff in the mix. Third and six, big down. And they find Leonard. AC freaking Leonard is putting on a clinic. Wide open right here, Coltrane. You look at this replay right up the seam. Possession catch, which makes sure that low-rated player can hold on to the ball. Beast mode Mac looking prolific, but... Oh, that's Dodrick! Overthrows Chad Johnson. Seven of ten now for Aaron Rodgers. And it gets tough. This is wide open. Should have been a touchdown, RG. Yeah, if you're Bolt, you're going to have to start manning up that Chad Johnson at some point. That's how you stop that playmaker tactic. It, it kills zone in that situation. You need a man defender on him to run up with him once he turns up field. Rodgers on second and ten. And there's a high point in Randy Moss. Nice defense there as Landon Collins was on the coverage. Yeah, this 19-year-old phenom Volt directs us locking up here in the goal line. This is a big third and 10. Rodgers throws it out to Leonard, and Leonard, for the first time today, can't hold on. And that's going to bring him a fourth down, and it's another Fig Newton. And that's a big win right there for Volterex. Another thing you got to pay attention to is his beast mode falling in love with those flats too much, Coltrane. That's already three passes that I've counted that he's thrown into the flats that could have potentially been interception. And those are the ones that get taken back for six. So no harm done with six seconds left in the quarter here of game number one. Got two sessions today, an afternoon session of four games, then an evening session of four games. And the evening session starts off with Skimbo and Little Man. And little, man little Man better not wear himself up. <laughs> Cheering on his boy Beast Boat Mac. He's got to play later. You can hear him in the crowd going nuts. Look at him. Yeah, he's bringing it in. He wants it. So at the end of one, it's six to nothing in favor of the Madden Challenge champion Beast Mode Mac. But Volterax, he's one play away from taking the lead. I'm surprised that the score is only 6 nothing right now, Coltrane. I expected this to be a high pace shootout. But right now, you got Beast Mode Matt playing solid defense. So third and 11. Volt is yet to even gain a yard. He's minus one yards in offense right now. 
You talked about in your scouting report, you got to take what he's given you. He has yet to figure out what that is. Third and 11. McNabb has time, throws it. And he swerves them up to the 28 yard line. So he's one for four, but that's 48 yards. Yeah, that's a bomb right there, but it's going to be hard to make a living like that, Coltrane. Again, Beast Mode Matt gets to the ball landing spot, and Moss is able to get a freakish animation, which he could have potentially dropped with all that traffic around him. That's not a good way to make a living. Volt's looking for that swerve where he catches and then runs after. CJ2K takes it to the 14 yard line. And now he's in the red zone. Take a look at this again, RG. Yeah, and this is what's frustrating about Volt is you're constantly playing defense, and just like that, he hits you with that big play. You're working so hard, and just like that, he's right back into it. It's extremely frustrating to deal with that style of Madden because he can get you at any time and just like that. And Randy Moss has our first touchdown of the day, and Volt pinning the extra point will take a one-point lead. Over Beast Mode Mac, and I've learned not to count these extra points. We've, we've, we've had some rough ones. Yeah, people liable to miss that extra point. Look at that replay, though. Play action, high point pass, possession catch in between the safety and the flat. And so Dion will take it out of his own end zone. He'll take a big hit from Night Train Lane and Beast Mode Mac will start to drive at the 23-yard line. And this is a different environment, Colchain. Remember, this is single elimination. You really feel the pressure in these situations, knowing that you're one loss away from going home or one win away from doubling up your money. It's a whole different feeling than groups. Yeah, go from 10 grand to 20 grand just by getting the dub. Throws a corner out there, and there is Chad Johnson out at the 40-yard line. Beast Mode has a couple of passes where Volt's defenders are just a few inches away from being able to make a play on it. You gotta think something's gonna give at some point and Volt's gonna be able to force a turnover. There's Randy Moss wide open past the 50 to the 46 yard line. Beast Mode Mac hasn't had a problem moving the ball. It's when he gets into the red zone. Yeah, the red zone's where it's been trouble for him. And let's keep in mind, when we talked about it at the top of the show, he is one of the hottest players on the entire circuit, but he feels disrespected as a lot of people are picking Volterex in this matchup. As a defending champion, he feels he deserves a little bit more respect, and he's out to get it right now in this game. Rold has the safeties up. Throws it underneath to Jordy Nelson. It'll pin on the spot. It'll be second in inches. Yeah, he's just really taking that flat route. He's reading, does the cornerback drop into a cloud flat or a hard flat? If he reads that cornerback drop, he just dumps it to the flat consistently. But he needs to be careful because that corner will jump that at some point. Needs a few inches to move the chains. Rodgers, quick throw again. And there's Lonnie Ballantyne comes up and he'll lose. About six inches, that'll be 31. He is playing with fire in that flat. He really is Coltrane. That's the fourth time that he's thrown to the flat in coverage. And he needs to be careful. Eventually, Volt's guys are going to jump on that. You just have to think. Now, Volt's got a Landon Collins rolling around out there, too. There's a guy you don't want to get hit by in the flat. Yeah, he's got some good players in that secondary. And remember, he has that tip throw active. He's got Deion Sanders, Brian Dawkins, tons of Night Train Lane. Volt's been heavy. Champ Bailey, 99 overall with yep. boosted speed. So third and one. Watch the big run. And he will lean for it. And they will give him the first down. Boy, had a bunch of defenders in the middle. And he tries to get outside with Zeke, but a nice tackle on there. The edge, that was Manny Lawson. I like that hurry up tactic from Beast Mode, though, because he caught Bolt in this goal line defense that was built to stop the quarterback sneak. So he goes and hurries it up, looking for the home run play. Whew. That was a huge tackle, touchdown saving tackle by Bolt right there. So ball at the 36, 54 yarder from there. It's been all field goals. Rodgers up the seam. And A.C. Leonard, are you kidding me? To the two-yard line. 
Well, you better think Beast Mode Mac did his research on this AC Leonard. I've never even seen this guy at Mutt, and he's already got two big catches. Somebody's heading out to the auction house right now because he's had a big first half, and Ezekiel Elliott punches it in for six, and Beast Mode Mac answers the call. That was a huge response by Mac. And interestingly enough, going for the extra point instead of the two-point conversion, keeping it a six-point game instead of going for making it a touchdown game. Gets a good block on the edge there and powers his way into the end zone. And Ezekiel Elliott doing work. So a six-point game, a minute, ten left in the half. That is eternity for Volterax. Oh, yeah, you're not lying, Volterax. <laughs> That's a couple of possessions for Volterex. So trailing by six. He will get the ball to start the second half. And they go to Johnson. Uh -oh. There's a block. Uh -oh. He's got some room. Uh -oh. And there's that speed. Get on your horse. It's vintage, RG. <laughs> And we <laughs> talked about it, Coltrane. This is one of the best roster moves we've seen from any of the competitors. He knows he can hit you for home runs through the passing game, but adding that Chris Johnson to his lineup has now allowed him to hit for home runs on the ground as well. And boy, is his offense dangerous. And if you thought he only had stick work with the swerve, look at him swerving with Chris Johnson. He better not get pulled over with all of that. Nasty. Grandpa Volt feeling it. He's all business. Clap one time, one time clap for Grandpa Volt. And we talked about it. It's an eternity. He had a minute 10 left. He handed off to CJ2K. Next thing you know, bye Felicia. 12 seconds, all he needed. <laughs> Rogers. Gotta be careful not to turn the ball over down here. Both guys with some timeouts left. Three for Beast Mode Mac, two for Volterax. That's a good point about the turnover. And Beast Mode Max is going to have to stop that big play. We talked about it at the top of the show. Volt really moving the ball at big chunks at a time. And it's just something you can't let him do, especially on the ground. Makes his life way too easy when he's able to do that. So Jordy Nelson brought it in, but couldn't get his feet inbound. So third and ten, plenty of time left. You know, the thing about Volterax is he's got the number three rushing offense in the tournament. I mean, we want to talk about the swerve, but he's been able to hit some big plays on the ground. Rodgers just got rid of it, and now it's a fourth down. What do you do, RG? I think if you beast mode, you <laughs> got to punt this. You, you don't want to just give him the free field goal. I need to call out that adjustment from Volt, though. We talked about you need to man up Chris Johnson on that playmaker. Volt directs did that exact thing on that play. Had Chris Johnson manned up. When, he, when Beast Mode playmakered him up, he was completely guarded, and that's what threw off his timing on that play. Great adjustment from Bolt. Uh-oh. Dion tried to spin back to the inside and ran into his own counterpart. And this is where the key to the game is going to come into play, Coltrane. You only got 33 seconds. Volt up one. If you're Beast Mode, Mac, you cannot let him in the end zone in this situation. Especially with him getting the ball. Starts the second half. That's... Yeah, this, Should be a backbreaker. This is how you win this type of game if you're beast mode. It's staying strong in these situations right here and playing defense. Goes back to Chris Johnson and he'll use his second timeout. So second and three at the 39-yard line. Billy Cundiff is his kicker. 70 overall, tanking that kicker. But beast. One thing about Beast Mode and Volterex is they both get kicking time on the practice stations when they come up to the practice. One of the things they make sure they do is practice their field goal kicking. And both those guys will look pretty good in the kicking game. Yep, you got to watch Moss. He's going to motion them, send them on a streak. Has time and throws it over the middle. And he thought he had an interception with the X Factor, Brian Dawkins. One thing we don't talk about enough with Volt is his composure. He never shows any emotion yeah. at all. He lets Grandpa Volt do all the emotional <laughs> stuff for him, but he is all business when he plays, and you've got to respect that. Third and three, 24 ticks to go. The throw, and Moss. Boy, we've seen him catch a lot of those. That drops this one. That's the funny thing. McNabb is two for seven, and he's got 14 points. 
It's those big plays. That's how you need to contain both. That was biblical defense right there by Beast Mode Mac to contain that swerve. Did it like a professional and is able to go into the second half. Only down one unless Dion can get Icky. I think it was biblical when Chris Johnson parted the Red Sea of Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my goodness. To take that I mean, one it, point lead. If you're both, it makes sense. You got amazing stick work. And you know you can hit these home runs through the air. Why not make your ground game just as deadly? And that's what he did. It's not all about just showing that skill with that adjustment. Hands it off to Ezekiel Elliott. Does have three timeouts. Spun out of one, and he will use one. Probably the final play. I'm not just going to say probably. It is the final play of the first half. If you're Volt here, you got to watch out for the swerve from beast mode. If you're beast mode, you got to watch out for a sack fumble. Split backs. Rodgers will go to the air. Lucky to hang on as a big time sack. And that's how the half will end. Volterax with a one point lead over Beast Mode Mac here in our first game of the afternoon section. Round of 16. We're going to have some good games. We're going to have some good yeah, games today. Exactly. 14 <laughs> 13 in the first half between Beast Mode Mac and Volterex. First game to kick off the Madden Championship today. Things are looking crispy right now, Scott. And we got a treat. We got treats all day long. If this type of uh, these type of games keep up. Well, I got a treat for you. It's halftime with Dave and the guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it as always. Guys, a pretty solid first half for our first game here at the Madden Championship. Rico, let's go to you first. It's 14-13. This is not a great spot for Beast Mode to be in though right now. Not at all. He is trailing Volterex, which you never want to do at any time, but it's a tough way to make a living. Volterex has given him the flats, given him the flats, then he kept taking it away. Volterex has dropped four picks and can score in one play at any time he wants. Not happy if you're beast mode right now. No, not great. And Farrells, what have you seen in this first half? Kind of back and forth. Yeah, he's missed a couple opportunities in the red zone to kind of, you know, kick in those field goals. But it is keeping the score close. Volt's going to a more balanced attack. He actually punted, which was a shock. Uh, so a little bit of a weird game here. I think the close score could actually be helping beast mode. But I'm dying to know, you know how the second half's going to go. If it gets any stretch of the lead either way, both of these guys could just start airing it out and the points could explode. Yeah, second half might break wide open once the passing game really gets going. Today is obviously a very exciting day. This is the Madden Championship, but it's also an exciting day for another reason. We are looking ahead to Madden 18. Let's see what EA Sports has in store for us for that. father used to say, when the world knocks you down, you get back up again. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access. Well, boys, I got, I got some goosebumps. Now, I'm very excited. What do you expect out of 18? Now, as a Jet fan... <laughs> You know this is an amazing game. If I'm sitting here with Tom Brady looking at that, I can't wait. I cannot <laughs> wait. Like, the graphic. The frostbite. It's frostbite. Yeah. It, it really is looking great. And obviously, you have Brady on the cover. That's amazing. Even though, coming from a Giants and a Jets fan, you know it's real when they're saying that. Want to remind everybody at home that the Madden Championship is powered by Xbox. And we've teamed up to give away a new Xbox One S. Head over to EA Sports underscore Mutt and look for the pinned entry tweet and retweet it to enter. Coming up here, guys, we are got a, a big match next. We've got Dub Dot W. You see him there on the right against Los, two of the biggest names in our community. But right now, we've got Drea. She is sidelines with Volterax. Thanks so much, Dave. Volt, Beast Mode, prepared for your swerve. How effective do you think it's been so far, and how can you make it even more effective in the second half? Well, he's been playing really good defense, and I just need to be play, play better offensively, make better reads, 
I know your trademark is being stone-faced, no reaction, but talk to me about the nerves. There's a lot on the line. How are you right now? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I've been playing good defense. And if, if I continue to play good defense and get my offense together, I, I can win this game. Grandpa Volt's here. That's your hype man. He gave you a lot of advice before this matchup. I know I talked to him about it. What's his crunch time advice for you? Everything's on the line. Give it to me. He told me I just need to win by one point. I don't need to win by 100. There you go. Basics. Let's send it to Scott and RG. Thanks so much, Drea. Come on now. Hey, what are you doing with Brady? Be but, careful. No, he, he never gets out here and scrambles. Put him in your pocket. Brady's always in the pocket. See, cool. no mobility. No mobility. I'm pumped about 18, by the way. One-point game. Still got a lot of Madden 17 left over the next couple days. Volterax leading by one over Beast Mode, and you talked about it. You kicked those field goals. You might find yourself going home. Yeah, we got ourselves a one-point ball game. Beast Mode Max still into it, but he, I bet he wishes he could have turned those field goals into points or he would be in complete control. I loved Volt's interview right there. Have you, If you've been keeping up with this uh, tournament scene all year, you see the maturity of him. He's up there, he's well-spoken now, and he's just really focused on the task at hand. He never gives excuses. He's not one of those guys looking for an out. He's up there giving it his all and leaving everything on the field, and that's something I admire about that young man a lot. Some people would call it the grandpa effect. Yeah, exactly. Works for me. Good it's role model. Worked for Volt. Second half action coming your way. Guys starting to lock in, and we talked about it. Volterax is going to get the ball first. Here he goes, Coltrane already has the ball on the 40. Yeah, what you missed was a ball that's kicked out of bounds. And so he has it the 40 to start the drive. Oh, my goodness. That Chris Johnson was almost out to the crib first play. Beast Mode Mac fortunate on that one, Cole. Well, you, you know, you feel if you're Beast Mode Mac, you, you pretty much locked him up for all but about three plays. The problem is two of those went for touchdowns. They're big plays. And here he goes again. He's on his horse. And I don't think they'll catch him. And nope, Brian Dawkins. He got the tightrope animation, was able to catch up to him at the 15. Take a look at it again, RG. Look at the CA contextual spin from CJ. It usually slows the ball carrier down too much to make a big run, but CJ's got that boost and almost takes it to the cribbo. Yeah, it was a bad angle by Brian Dawkins. But got just too close to that sideline. First and 10 for the 15. That's where Volt admits that his offense struggles. And it's picked off. play for Beast Mode Mac. The one person you don't want to try is Deion Sanders, and I was about to pay full homage for the passing play out of I-4. No one was expecting it, but Deion Sanders ready for anything out there, Coltrane. And Moss gets lit up by Travis Feeney. That's Volt's user. And we went back to take what he's given you. You have a first down in the red zone. You've been pounding the rock. It's working phenomenal. You get a little bit greedy if you Volt and go for the gusto. And Beast Mode back makes you pay for it. It's one of the things that Volt admits he struggles with, that red zone offense. And he almost throws an interception. Well, that cover to Inbert, got to be careful. Yeah, Beast Mode's made some stevies in this game, as they like to call him, Coltrane. Just Volterex not able to force the turnover yet and be rewarded for him. Yeah, stevies you make blind throws. Come back to haunt you. Third and four. Rodgers finds Leonard. Who? That's A.C. Leonard. Who is <laughs> He's a 66 silver, and he's dominating this game for Beast Mode Mac on the offensive side of the ball. School me or something, Scott. A.C. Leonard, are you kidding me? I got no idea. I have no idea where we went to college, high school, middle school. Easy, easy, easy. This one guy I do not prepare for when I'm looking at these rosters from Volterex. It's A.C. Leonard. Made the move, though. We didn't see him in the group stages. He's a 66 overall silver item. Doing work. Second and nine. Under three minutes to go. It's good defense. 
And the third. It forces them into a third and nine. That was phenomenal defense right there. Nothing was open for Beast Mode Mac. Volterex really buckling down. And Volt showing him this 4-3 look. This isn't the defense Volt has been running all year long. He pretty much stayed in dollar exclusively, but he switched things up a bit here in the Madden Championship, showing his opponents a new look. Rodgers finds Ezekiel Elliott. A.C. Leonard is a Canadian football <coughs> defensive lineman for the Rough Riders, but he did play wide receiver for the B.C. Lions. Who? Who is this guy? It's killing it. Oh, man, these guys are deep in their scouting. Yeah. Hey, He's a free agent, currently plays in the Canadian Football League. And we've talked about that before, Coltrane. Sometimes it is. Oh, big hit right that there. Huge. Bolt, that was a fourth down. And now Volterax will have the ball at the 35-yard line. Uh, A.C. Leonard's got me hypnotized. I'm missing <laughs> big fourth down plays, plays right here. That was huge for Volte. Safety's up on first and ten. He'll go back to the run. This time he gobbles up Johnson at the 35-yard line. And I like this formation. Volterex is in this strong twin tight end type formation right here. And you don't see this a lot. And what that means is when you don't see it a lot, that means people haven't prepared for and it. And there is Chris Johnson to the house. So it's another touchdown for Volt in the way of CJ2K. And that's the power all out of the strong tight pair, Coltrane. Everyone's preparing for I form normal, inside zones, draws. No one's looking at this strong tight pair formation. And that's one of the keys to success this late in the year <laughs> is you need to catch people off guard. And boy, is Volt doing it right now with this run game out of the strong tight. At CJ and when see Chris Johnson is breaking tackles, that's not a good sign. Look at Grandpa Volt, he's failing that. So Dion will fall down at the 17. Bad field position once again to start off for Beast Mode Mac, but doesn't want to take a big hit. Yeah, and Beast Mode Mac still only down one possession, not going for two earlier in the game. Actually looking like a very smart move right now for Mac. Rodgers on first and ten, has Chad Johnson, oh! but it's picked off by Champ Bailey. Anything Dion can do, Champ Bailey might be able to do better. It's, look at this, it's pretty much the same animation. Give me that, I'm going to fight for my team. And Volt's got all types of momentum. He's already pretty much in field goal range, Coltrane. Oh, and there oh, is Chris Johnson. He's on the toes, getting fit. Touchdown of the game for CJ2K out of East Carolina. Former Pirate. And R, he's good. Look at this. You thought you were going to see Swerving, but you're seeing Swerving, but it's on the ground, not through the air. Immaculate stick work right there by Volt. Some big blocking out of Jeff Cumberland, number 87, the tight end. And, and it's been huge in that I formation. And, and Grandpa approves. And what a swing of momentum. It wasn't that long ago before we saw Volt throwing an interception in his own red zone. And just like that, he is back. And it is those home run big plays that he is pulling off. These guys only combined for three interceptions in the group stage. We've already had a few so far. Chad Johnson tries to go into the spin cycle. And a little bit of tempo here, RG. As like Beast Mode Mac will not huddle. I like that if you're Mac. You said you were prepared for a shootout. Well, guess what? You're not in one. And he just oh, throws it up. No. It was a glorified punt that was picked off. And look at him, Scott. Look at Volt. No emotion at all. Are you kidding me? If I make an interception like that in single elimination fighting for 10 racks, there's no way I don't get geeked up. But Volt stays calm, cool, and collective, and he's still focused at the task at hand. And Chris Johnson actually got tangled up there. There was a huge hole in the middle. 13 carries for 228 yards and three touchdowns. Man, can this boy play some Madden, huh? <laughs>
and stick. And He's just, not number 27, and, I can tell you that. And not <laughs> anyone can just do this with Chris Johnson. This is both. He has elite level stick work. When it comes to a Madden player, if you had to give him a stick work rating, this kid is 95 to 99 overall, and he is showing you why. Second and six. Throws it up, and he swerves up. Oh, the wall swerve. And Dandy Randy Moss takes it in. And Beast Mode Mac is a pinball machine that's on tilt. The thing that's crazy, Coltrane, is I was talking with the players earlier, and I said if Bolt can find a way to get Moss involved in these strong, tight formations that he runs the ball out of, it is going to be trouble for his opponents because they got to sell out to stop that run. And sure enough, Volk does the smart thing, hits the lab, and puts a passing play in his arsenal out of that formation. That's something if you're looking that you might have to play him later, you need to pay attention to that because it could be a factor later in this tournament. His defense came in, giving up 25 points a game. That's Volterax. He's held Beast Mode Mac to 13 thus far. And now the Madden Challenge champion is up against the ropes. Wow. And another big hit on Rodgers. This time it's Ray once again. Oh, beast Mode looking locked up. You need to answer back or we might have to get the floaties out here, Coltrane. 22-point game, three possessions. We don't like getting the floaties. We knew we'd have some points out of Ultrax. Beast Mode has been unable to answer. And it's progressively got worse. You felt like Beast Mode Mac when he kicked those field goals early. It's come back to bite him. If he could have turned those into touchdowns, we'd have a one possession game. It's a really good point, Coltrane. Third and forever. Has a wide open Jordy Nelson. And Nelson tackled at the 45 yard line, and we head to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. I'm looking up there at the stage, Coltrane, and Volt just doesn't even blink after a play like that. I give up a 40-yard game, no big deal. I'm focused on the next play. Savage. Boy, Jordy Nelson was wide open on that play. First and 10. Lucky just to throw that one to the turf. And one thing that's helping Volt play defense is he no longer has to respect the run, Coltrane. Beast Mode Mac is in a passing situation, and that's when you, it becomes a lot easier to play defense. Unlike Beast Mode Mac, when he's playing defense, he needs to key in on that Chris Johnson, which is leave, leaving him susceptible for that Randy Moss to get busy as well. Well, we finally saw A.C. Leonard prove that he's not a machine as he dropped one, and then Rodgers just doesn't have time for developing routes right now, RG. Yeah, I'm thinking this cover two invert defense that you see Volt running right here out of the 4-3 is something that he's caught Beast Mode Mac off guard with. Everybody's used to Volt saying in dollar, and Volt just comes out with a great defensive game plan. He's making all the proper adjustments, and I'm just not seeing much day daylight on offense for beast mode right now. Look at this, three but, people. But there's A.C. Leonard at the 26 yard line. He's a free agent, plays football in Canada for the Rough Riders. It's actually a good game plan if you're Volt. It's like, hey, if you want to beat me with all these goons you have on your team, go ahead and try to beat me with A.C. Leonard. We'll see how that works out for you. Rogers, just gonna slide down. Smart move. Don't, don't risk getting hit. Then he went at home wondering how he did that. If you with your quarterback, you hold the left trigger, the right trigger, you tap the X button, and it'll go into a little give up position like that to avoid big hits behind the line of scrimmage. Needs touchdowns. Low pass to Randy Moss. That'll move the chains. If you just join us, we're in game number one of eight today. We're in the final 16 of the Madden 17 championship. And right now, Volterax is putting it on Beast Mode. But Beast Mode's driving, and you see 35-13. And something we should mention, Cole, is one of Volterax's weaknesses has been closing out games. It's one of the things he struggled with most thus far into the tournament. So if you're Beast Mode Mac, you need to realize that, not give up, get these points on the board, get a stop, and then you might right, be right back in action. And Ezekiel Elliott breaks the plane. So Beast Mode able to get out of a bit of a drive there. 
And he's going to kick the extra point. That'll make it a 15-point game with 325 to go. This is manageable if you're beast mode Mac. It really is, Coltrane. This game is not over. He still has all three of his timeouts as you see Ezekiel Elliott just fighting. What a monster. This is a huge possession for the Mac. His tournament life is on the line right here, Cole, and he's going to have to make something happen on defense if he wants to keep that life, if he wants to stay alive. So Deion Sanders gets hit out of bounds at the 17-yard line. 3.22 to go, 15-point game. Got to stand up here if you're Beast Mode Mac. Strong formation. Goes back to Johnson. Big hit. Can't get a block. And boy, there's Anthony Barr. And th th that's the type of hit Barr can make Chris Johnson cause that up. And then, like I said, Beast Mode forces a turnover. He's right back, Coltrane. This is not over. Goes to Chris Johnson. And here's another problem. Snapping the ball early there. He is snapping the ball way too early yeah. right there, Coltrane. That's a lack of experience from Volterex. He really needs to kill the clock and let the play clock go all the way down to one. He snapped that with about 15 seconds on the play clock last play, and that's just giving Beast Mode Mac free life. Third and nine. Watch Mossy. He's going to motion him and then send him deep. McNabb finds a wide open wide receiver. And he's knocked to bounds at the 31 yard line. That's Chris Conley. And finally, Volt does what we were talking about at the key, in the keys to the game, Scott. Take what the defense gives you. He set up Beast Mode Mac with that motion streak, made Beast Mode go run and guard it, and had an underneath route in the middle of the field. There's Chris the Johnson. He'll work to the 38. He got knocked out of bounds on that last play that stopped the clock. Once you got the first down, he needed to go down, keep that clock running. Yes, he, he should take this to the two minute warning. Exactly. He better let this get the two minutes. If he snaps the ball right now before that two minute warning, I don't know if I could ever forgive him. <laughs> Grandpa Volt might not forgive him either. And the, real quick, I want to touch on it. Grandpa Volt has been, it's so inspiring for us to see a grandfather like that support his grandson and just be as awesome as he's been. But as motivating as he is to us, imagine how motivating he must be to Volterex, having your grandpa in the crowd cheering you on. That's not the type of kid you want to get in his way in that type of situation. I said if he had a Madden item, he would have the motivator trait. No doubt about it. Absolutely. You know, his grandpa did tell me, though, after uh, Volt made it out of his groups into, into this round, he said, you know what, RG? Looks like my manager fee just went up. <laughs> <laughs> so a 15-point game. He snaps it early again. Quick throw. Looked like he was in a run-commit situation. And finally falls down in bounds. So that's going to move the clock. And now Beast Mode Mac at some point has got to start using those timeouts. Yeah, it's not looking good for Beast Mode Mac. This game's looking like it's all but over. We're going to have to take our hat, hats off to our defending. See, he's got to watch out, though, for a fumble if you're Volt. You've got to be careful. A fumble's the only thing that could get Beast Mode Mac back in this game. Well, it was three unanswered touchdowns. 21 straight points for Volterax coming out of the second half. Got to be careful with that Chris Johnson. He'll use his second timeout. So 61 seconds remaining in this one. Third and 10 for Volt. I'm surprised at how out of hand this game has gotten. I thought Beast Mode Mac being one of the hottest players that we've seen in all of Madden was going to give Volt more than he could handle and really make this a hell game. It was going to come down to the last possession. But Volt just showed that that running game was no joke. He is well prepared and he is poised to make a run in this tournament. And he'll just punt this one out of bounds, and it lands at the one-yard line, RG. Can't. I'm asleep. <laughs> he literally just put up 35 points against our defending champion, Coltrane. You know, Beast Mode Mac had the ninth-rated defense. He'd only given up an average of 18 points in the group stage. And now you can't swerve the swerver. Yeah, Volt's going to have defense for that. He's going to nail it out. We're very happy 
from Michael Bryant, 19 years old, Williamstown, Massachusetts, aka Volterex, an inspiring story to us all. But we're gonna have to tip our hats, Coltrane, to Mac Clark, aka Beast Mode Mac, from yep. Raytown, Missouri. He had an awesome season. He was an awesome competitor. He has all of our respect, and he's someone that we could fully expect to see in this competitive gaming circuit for a long time moving forward. There's a shaking of hands. Beast Mode Mac, if you want a consolation, you, you took home 60 racks this year, 60 grand. Ain't bad for Beast Mode Mac. He's on the bad end of this one, though. Volterax is moving on to the final eight that'll be reseeded here at the end of the show. And he just guaranteed himself $20,000 in this tournament. And imagine doing that at 19 years old, and you got a chance to turn that 20 into 100. Do we, do we have to keep this Brady here all day? Yeah, that's Tommy Edward ball game. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. White noise didn't work, Drea. Okay. No doubt. It absolutely didn't. Well, Beast, you put on a clinic on the defensive side of the ball, relentless pressure. Multiple picks. What did you think of the job and the statement you were able to make? Well, I thought like I played really good defense and I played better offense the second half. Got some big rushing touchdowns and that helped a lot. Scott and RG talked about the fact that the knock has been that you couldn't close out games when you were ahead. You certainly did that today. What do you want to say to the Madden community? And now that that's changed, you can do it. Yeah, I definitely can. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on the big stage. I'm here. and I think I can win it all. You beat the Madden Challenge champion. He had his belt on the stage. It was kind of trolling a little bit, but you hung in there and you came away with the victory. How much of a lift is it to win this magnitude of a matchup with Grandpa Volt in the audience? This was a really big win, and it means a lot to have my grandpa here supporting and all the family watching at home. It means a lot to them. Well, you got the Volt Army behind you. You've got Grandpa Volt behind you. A lot more excitement coming. Let's send it back to you. Thank you, Dre. I appreciate it.